In our other local game of the day, Idaho hosting Eastern Washington at the Kibbe Dome. Eastern led this game 3-0 early on, but then the Eags were witness to the Hayden Hatton Show. Idaho answering the field goal right back. It's Giovanni McCoy to Hatton for the touchdown. That would make it 7-3 Vandals. Next Idaho possession, McCoy to Hatton once again, and that would make it 14-3. How about the next possession? What do you think's gonna happen here? McCoy to Hatton. It's 21-3 Idaho. Now a 21-10 game, and Hatton says, you know what, I want a four-piece Extra crispy. Here it is, McCoy to Hatton. His fourth receiving touchdown of the half. That ties the Idaho program record for most in a game, and he did it in just a half. Idaho goes on to defeat Eastern 48 to 16 today. Krem 2 sports director Travis Green was in Moscow for today's game. He has more on Hatton's historic performance. Travis? As you just saw there in the highlights, it was Hayden Hatton happy hour in Moscow. And I used four words there on purpose. Hatton tying Idaho football's program record with four touchdown catches. You know, how about Hayden Hatton? You know, he had four touchdowns in the first half. He had three in the second half last week. So to have a guy have seven touchdowns in you know, four consecutive quarters, I, I never seen anything like that. Hayden, did you know you tied the record during the game? I did. How bad did you want number five? <laughs> Badly. <laughs> I had one opportunity. Like, that I will probably be thinking about tonight later. So, but yeah, I wanted it badly, but you know, at the end of the day, I wanted to win more than anything, and I'm glad I could help the Idaho Vandals win. While Hatton's performance is what will likely be remembered from today's 48-16 Idaho win, you can't talk about this game without bringing up the Vandals' rushing attack. Idaho ran for a dominance, 308 yards. It was huge. I, I, they had like. 50 yards rushing or something. I, I told uh, Eli that on the field. I said, yeah, if you, if you outrush a team by 200 yards, yeah, you're going to win most of those games. So that was huge. For Eastern Washington, today's outcome is a polar opposite of last year's 50-point win as the Eagles dropped to 2-7 and seven on the season. It's unfair for these guys to compare 2021 to 2022. Uh, I think it's easy to do and say, why aren't we where we were? Uh, they play, they, they've played, they've witnessed. Um, in pads and out of pads, a brand of good football. And just, it's just not our year thus far. In the post-game press conference, Jason Eck came in holding the old Governor's Cup. Now that trophy was handed out to the winner of this rivalry back in the 80s. On the trophy was athletic tape written, Chisco Cup. Jason Eck wrote, Chi for Chini, Sco for Moscow. Maybe it's time for a new trophy to be handed out. Reporting in the Kibbe Dome, Travis Green, Crem2 Sports.